NJIT victorious over UMass Lowell by a score of 68 to 50. We're with assistant coach Pace Lang, Mike Ventola with you and coach. Let's get this out of the way. First time here in the hot seat for a post game interview. Um, I know Coach Lane, Coach Gratch, Coach Mo, they've been through the ringer so far. So what tips did they give you knowing that you have to talk to me here for a few minutes? Any? Um, you know, no, I think it was more jokes, just kind of trying to make me nervous. Yep. Um, but definitely excited to finally be in this seat yep. um, and proud of the squad um, for getting this win because then it put me in this seat. So just happy to be here after all the away games that I've had. Um, but no, but even Coach Lane was going to say he was going to stand right here and make fun. And I was like, <laughs> no, I'm going to get security to mo move you over there. <laughs> exactly. Yes, we could just yeah, right. move him along a little right. bit. So. Wouldn't be as productive. But let's talk about what was an outstanding day by your team. And you got to start first, of course, with Kenna, a double-double. Um, just an unbelievable game for her in a sense where it seemed like after the first quarter where – the girls were kind of still trying to find their way a little bit. Kenna then rose from the ashes, her, and even, of course, Alejandra. Um, but really, Kenna today took things by storm. Um, for you guys on the bench, I'm sure you were thinking, man, this is vintage Kenna Squire. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. I mean, very proud of her because, you know, the past two games, um, it was hasn't she hasn't really been on. Um, but we've been telling her all season um, because in the beginning of the season, she wasn't really trying to look for her shot as much as she should, um, especially because we know the type of player she is. Um, and she can score. And we said, we, you got to look for your shot. But, you know, I give her props. She's a very unselfish uh, player, uh, teammate and player. Um, but we said, you got to look for it. And she's starting to look for it a lot more. She's starting to get in the paint a lot more because it's, she's hard to guard. Um, we always say that even in practice, she's putting everybody in the blender. Um, so we're just happy that she's looking for her shot more. Um, she definitely did that today. Um, you know, not every possession is going to be perfect, but at least she's looking for it. And she's starting to really go after it. So um, we're happy to see that. You know, coming into today, UMass Lowell, you look at the record and you're thinking, something ain't right here. This is a team that played a lot of close games, kind of eerily similar to Bryant, but just on the losing side of some really close games. So what was the message to this team saying, hey, we can't take them lightly? And uh, obviously with what um, Sanchez was able to do today with over 20 points, but still, was there at any point you felt like, that the, the team at all, especially in the first quarter, they were kind of a little slow out of the gate. Do you feel like, hey, we're going to be in good shape here today? Um, you know, we said even before the game that their record um, does not really dictate who they are. Mm -hmm. um, they played a really tough, UMass played a really tough out-of-conference schedule. Um, and they, like you said, they've been playing teams tight. They just played U um, University of Albany tight. Um, so we knew that we had to come ready to play. Um, and one of the biggest things that we were trying to focus on was last time we played them, they got, we had 20 turnovers and they had 19 points off of our turnovers. Um, so that's, you know, something that we fell a little short today um, that we wanted to accomplish. Um, but we knew that we couldn't take them lightly. Um, and they work hard with only yep. eight players. They work hard. And, you know, that's where they get their energy from because they're constantly on the floor. They can't really come off. Um, so we knew that we had to keep the energy. And this time our goal was, you know, we got to use that to our advantage because we have depth and we could use our depth. So when we're on the floor, we said we had to go hard. Um, and I think we did better with that. Um, but we did fall short a little bit with controlling the ball a little bit more than we wanted to with such a high energy defense that they that UMass has. Um, and they're physical and they're scrap scrappy. Um, so I think we really kept with it. And I think when we had the energy, we we really kept with it and give it, gave it to them. 83% from the free throw line over the free throw line is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to your team. Uh, throughout the season so knowing that you were able to at least get 20 attempts and make well above 80 percent um, obviously I'm sure you'd want to keep that going but from your vantage point because I've asked all the coaches about this from your vantage point how do you take for what the free throw pers uh, situation has been at time I know you're, you're hot sometimes at the line you're cold sometimes at the line what's your take on kind of how things have gone this season from the free throw line well, one thing, we're happy that they're getting to the line, which means that we're really pounding the paint, which is always one of our keys. Um, but I think th another <laughs> an – Ollie's looking at me. Making oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's It's loose. <laughs> this thing's loose. So. Um, no, but uh, the biggest thing is that we're getting to the line, and since we're on the line, um, I think we just try to tell them, like, when you have 10 seconds, so use that full 10 seconds, take a breath. Um, I think, you know, we got the pr we let the pressure kind of get to us a little bit in the beginning of the season, um, but I think our numbers are improving on the line mm -hmm. um, 100%, um, which means that I think we're – realizing that we could take a breath there. We don't have to rush it. Uh, we did the work. We got to the line, so we got a cap on it. Going into Wednesday now, UMBC. This is going to be a big-time game. I know we're not trying to standings watch or scoreboard watch all too often, but they did beat Maine earlier today. So with them coming in and knowing that the last game at UMBC, it was a heartbreaker for, at the, you know, for a three-pointer at the buzzer, essentially, for you and your team, what do you look to work on and prepare for a team that you just saw not too long ago, but knowing that you played toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, maybe you can get the best of here coming up this Wednesday night. 
Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing last time we played UMBC was actually our shot selection was great. We just weren't finishing the shots that we mm -hmm. need to finish. Um, we just had an off night, um, but then again, we still kept with them. So imagine if we made those looks that we could finish on um, because we even got our percentage. Our shot selection was way higher, was way better. Um, and then the biggest thing, too, is we just got to get back. Um, they like to push it. Um, so we just got to keep our energy up and keep our tempo up, um, especially coming off a hard game like this. Um, but, you know, we got four days to prepare um, for UM uh, three days to prepare for UMBC. Um, so I'm pretty sure we'll be ready. Um, and, you know, it's a close back-to-back -back game. We just played them two, ga uh, two games ago. Um, so I think we'll be ready. You know, as we record this after the game on Saturday, I, can I safely say, hey, enjoy the rest of your day and weekend, or are you watching film either after this or at least you're back in watching film and practice on Sunday, or do you wait till Monday at this point? I always say one of the best quotes I've heard is ball is life. Yes. And it 100% <laughs> is. So uh, that hopefully gives you the answer that I'll be watching. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Catching up all the games. Um, but that statement is 100% true. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for you know stopping by. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else. Let's do this more often because yes. that means, of course, <laughs> the team is winning. As you tell Coach Lane, if I'm seeing you post game, obviously something did not go well. And I usually also say I never want to see you post game <laughs> because then that means I'm talking to either you, Coach Mo, or Coach Gratch. But thanks for stopping by and uh, enjoy the victory. Great, thank you. All right, that's Coach po uh, Pace Lane.